Well, hey, hello. A lot of exciting news today. Uh, biggest one would be that um, I, I have a subscription to JTC Guitar, uh, which is Jazz, ja, uh, what is it? Jam Track Central is what JTC stands for. <coughs> it's a great, <coughs> uh, excuse me. It's a great, great website that has interactive uh, tabs <coughs> uh, and there's audio and there's all kinds of master classes. Well, guess whose master class went up today? Mr. Matteo Mancuso himself has now released a master class. As uh, soon as I seen that, yep, yeah, it's in my library. And um, he's got a lot of good topics. He's got a beautiful introductory thing. In his introductory thing, he's actually talking about his finger placements, and he likes to use the four-finger area. And another trick that I've known very well, this Mike, Mike actually showed me this one, Mike Eide, uh, the, the late, great Mike Eide, uh, is that you have a pretty active index finger. It's going to be moving. So, so it already took a jump before I even really got to that string. It's always ahead of the game. So it's always moving ahead. It's like in pool, you know. <clears throat> it's one thing to throw a ball down the, you know, down the hole, but it's another thing to think about your English, your cue ball, setting up your next shot. If you don't set up your next shot, then you're not going to make it, you know. <clears throat> well, that's exactly what guitar is. Guitar is all about setting up what's happening next so always keep that in mind okay so when you're moving along like this you're actually incrementing by your thumb your thumb your your index finger and let's think about the thumb too because the thumb a lot of people they want to wrap it up around here well that's great if you're bending right so it's something to push against if you're bending that's about one of the few, all right, seeing some of the greats that, right, wrap it around and grab a note. Uh, if you was at Berkeley, that would be shunned upon, and it should only be the four fingers. But if you're a really great guitar god, like Clapton or Hendrix, then it's perfectly fine. <laughs> so, so. Don't ever let anybody tell you don't do something, okay? That's that's the worst thing that anybody could give for advice, you know? There's no such thing as don't do. There's, uh, there's go for it, you know? And whatever you do, do it as great as you can possibly get it. All right. So anyways, so... Yeah, Matteo was talking about, uh, I think he actually, he did have this going, uh, and he was doing, uh, for a warm-up, he actually, well, for his introduction and in talking about his hand placement, he was talking about this area here, and if I was at Berkeley, I'd say, oh, yes, because um, that's two, you know, that's type two of the uh, Bill Levitt book. And his other thing was he was actually talking about uh, the legato-ness that goes in there. You really want to get that nice smooth connection thing going. Um, and then he started going into some warm-ups. And this warm-up, this is the first one I seen. He gives it to you slow, and then he gives it to you in 16th notes at fast speed. Uh, I'm going to stick with the slow. But... It's an amazing, amazing pattern that he has selected. And it took me a while to understand what was going on. Um, he's in A Dorian minor, okay? Uh, which means he's got all the notes of a G scale, but by way of A, okay? So you could have A, B, C, D, E. F sharp G A B C D E F sharp G A. Right? That's 
play that on. I think it'll be fine without it. Um, that's really just for noise ratification. I, I play pretty clean anyway, so it don't matter. Uh, so here's his pen. Okay, he's going to take that scale. He's going to do C, jumps to E, fifth fret on the second string, jumps to the seventh fret, third string D, takes that over to the seventh fret, first string. So that's our first four note sequence. Okay, once he gets there, he pulls a, does a pull off. And then he takes, uh, we start into a thing that it took me a while to understand because I was really just kind of like sight reading the transcription and going through and do, 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 and I, and I, you know, I was just going through note by note and just try. I was tr initially, as always, my head was trying to make an analysis of it, right? And I know I'm in the, the A Dorian minor uh, thing, but what really first hit me the most was the string skipping, okay? And doing two note groups on each string. Okay, so I'd have to actually kind of start that idea not from the first point because the first point was totally off of that. It was a note on one string, a note on another string, a note on another string. So all singles at that point, right? And then once he got here, this is where it all began. And he does seven, five, five, four, seven, five, uh, eight, seven, um, goes to um, five, four again, too. So I'll do that very, very slowly and break it down because I think I already put a mistake in. And, and bear with me, I've only done this today. Um, so let's just la I'll lay it out for you okay so it's seventh fret on the first string pulled off to the fifth fret on the first string and then I believe it's because I want to think sk string skipping right so I was on first string so I'm going to skip over the second string and do the third string and he did the five to four the C to B B, A, C, B. And then he does the A fret to 7th fret on the 2nd string. And then he goes to the 5, 4 on the 4th string. Right? So we're string skipping, like I said. So if I did something on the 1st string, next thing's on the 3rd string. Then I go down to the 2nd string, and then I do 4th string. Then he gets a boxy type thing going on. Third string, five, five, right? It's all seventh fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret. And actually, so he actually does a, his final note is that. But I've actually been kind of, you know, anything I ever do, I do it my way. I, I pick up the lead of what's the idea, what's the content, and then eventually I start kind of leaking into the project too. So I've been taking this riff. I want to get it into the idea of A minor too. something that I've been doing. I've been starting to pull off here and then going uh, Now what if I went up?
So, so that was the biggest thing that I seen on his and on his warm up. <clears throat> and he also says he likes to warm up. Well, one number one, you do stretches first. His uh, big stretch. He said he caught this one from Steve I. You put your hand arms behind you and pull those hands back, like you're trying to take flight. You know, you're trying to do something with those wings. But you put those hands back, and that's opening this area. So, um, and then another one is this. So you just take your hand and you just, you know, hold back on that. And if you, you know, go to, uh, don't go beyond what you're capable of, but go to where you're good. Okay, same thing here. And keep your thumb up. Make sure your thumb is actually in the picture too, okay? And you do that. And then I like to just shake it all loose too. Shake it all loose, you know? Because playing guitar is really, um, if I had to really nail it down, I'd say it's the most relaxing, comfortable thing I've ever done. And so I really have to find that comfort zone in what my hand is doing. Right. Now, did you hear all the noise? That's where this thing can come in. that little box two type two scale fingering it's this is your root that's a b this is c sharp and then so there's a couple of strings that we only do two notes on and they happen to be the sixth string in this case with just the a and the b so do re and then over here so la okay every other string we're going to have three notes on so, and on this string, once I get to that do, re, mi, fa, so, okay, so I'm doing fourth fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, and then on this one, it's going to be fourth fret, sixth fret, seventh fret, and that gives me my la, te, do, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, te, do, see, so we're doing major scale, okay, and that's exactly what Matteo started with, do, 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 See on here, I only have the E F sharp. I can throw the G sharp there. Do, 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 do. Right, so that's kind of like a comfort zone. Something I did earlier. Do, 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 do. I got it there too. Do, 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 do. Right, so that's a nice little thing. And here's a very similar pattern too. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. So that four, six, seven. Uh, is really nice when that comes along and, and otherwise you're on four five seven Okay, so on the fifth string and the first string you're on four five and seven for your frets four five seven four five seven Okay, but learn that well, okay Oh, I threw in a dominant seven And that's the next thing we can do with that scale. We can adjust it. Right there, I actually made it in a mixolydian mode just by dropping the seven, okay? And I noticed Matteo would do that too. He'd be in and out of major and dominant seventh, okay? Um, so, uh, and that's cool too, because that's a great way to move on. So if I'm on A and then I make A7, then I'm going to D next, you know? Um, but anyways, like I said, let's get this little riff. And it's like I said, I love doing my little A minor 
You know, I'm using an A minor nine right now. I got fifth fret on uh, sixth string, and then I'm just doing a combination of ring and pinky doing fifth fret on fourth and third string. And then I use the open B and E strings. Any A minor lick that you know, I like I like doing quattro. Right. So it's a work in progress. I gotta bring up the tempo a whole big bunch. So do you. And um, what can I say? If you like this stuff, subscribe. I, I'm, I'm very grateful for the new subscribers. And I thank you for subscribing because I have had some new ones. And if you're really interested in seeing what I put up, then hit that bell. And then you'll get the notifications of any time I stick something up. There's some times where I'll kind of like have a little spell between, but there's all the times where I might do like two or three in a day. All depending on what's going on, you know, what's happening in the guitar world. And so this was big news. The big news was Mateo's got a master class, and I'm on it. And so whatever I can pick up off of it, I will relay. Or go get yourself a subscription to JTC Guitar, <laughs> okay? And then you can get it. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for watching.